Hello everyone, it's your host, your friend, your boy, Jeff Black, the one and only here with another exciting video. And in this video, I'm going to be answering more questions that have been posed about Sentient AI Medieval Fantasy Adventure app. These questions are from your boy, Spring Hill Jack of the Guardians. Thank you, Spring Hill Jack of the Guardians, for providing this question. I am ready to answer it in this video. So without further ado, I'm going to read through it and give you my thoughts on what he is asking. So Spring Hill Jack in his question says, There is a AI Dungeon open source code, several in fact, the most well-known being AI Dungeon Clover, an expansion on the original program, and then he leaves a link to the GitHub. Um, he also says, and here are mostly vanilla versions. He leaves a couple more GitHub links. And he said, I meant in the form of either a tool or application where parameters for stats and setting can be altered or a model like Clover where we can have a list of campaign modules derived from setting and character data sets. Uh, could you please link your Patreon? I'd like to donate to the project and I'd prefer it went to a guy who can code an AI in a day, something that a game design student can't even do, instead of a company I've never heard of. First off, I'd like to thank you for your compliment. I truly appreciate it. Honestly, I don't think that these programs that I'm creating are particularly like hard to make. I just think the technology isn't readily available. Um, considering that this is created by a specific company and the only reason why I have access to like some of this technology is through my sponsorship uh, because it was able to like pay for it. I feel like if more people knew that Emoshape was a company and that this technology existed and were interested in working with Emoshape in order to create projects, that people way better than me uh, would be making way better programs. Uh, but I do appreciate the compliment, truly. If you want to hit up my Patreon, I would highly recommend checking out a video that I did yesterday talking about how I want to improve my Patreon. Um, I want to know what you guys want for the individual Patreon tiers. Uh, so if you check out my video uh, about like improving the Patreon, I would love to hear your thoughts there. If you watch that video and you go, I like the Patreon the way it is, then feel free to join the Patreon as it currently is. Uh, but if you feel like the current Patreon tiers aren't really worth it for you, definitely let me know what would make it worth it for you. Um, I want to try and design the Patreon in a way to where it seems like something that you guys would actually want to like participate in and to give money to. Um, when it comes to working with AI Dungeon and whether or not I would try to combine the sentient AI with AI Dungeon, I actually did a video uh, yesterday talking about how I feel like AI Dungeon and sentient AI could be used together. Um, but the main takeaway of that video was that I don't really think I would be involved in the combination of those two things. I feel like that would be more of a discussion between Latitude, the group that's behind AI Dungeon, and Emoshape, the group that's behind the sentient AI technology that I'm using to create my programs. I think if they work together, they could very, very easily combine their technology, um, but I feel like I personally am not particularly interested in doing that myself. Um, in regards to a essentially like Hmm. A way to change the settings for the sentient AI. Um, I do have some ideas for that. I feel like I could potentially do that fairly easily, depending on, I guess, the constraints that we would set on what you're describing. So I think a couple changes that I could add fairly easily would be um, users having the ability to change how characters, currency, stats, actions, and locations are described by changing between a set of themes. So right now, um, of course, Project Camelot is medieval, uh, medieval fantasy themed. But what I could do is I could essentially take that same program and just um, make it where a user could pick a different theme, like Western or sci-fi, and the program would work exactly the same way. Like it wouldn't change the functionality at all, but it would just change the way things are described in order to match whatever the new theme was. So instead of Sally being a healer, like she is in the medieval fantasy theme, uh, maybe she's like an alien in like the sci-fi theme, or maybe she's like a shaman, still kind of a healer, but it would be different, uh, like a shaman and like a Western theme, you know, stuff like that. Um, 
where we would just change little things to make them work better with whatever theme. I'm not sure if that's what you're asking or if you're asking for something more in depth than just like a more or less like, I want to use terms that are like visual based, but this is like a text based game. Like I'm thinking of stuff like a palette swap, but that's not true because we're not changing like the color, just like a theme change. Like, I'm curious if you're just asking for like this kind of thing where it works exactly the same way, but it just has a different theme. Or if you're asking for something more in depth, uh, just let me know in the comment section below and I can try my best to like answer your question properly. Uh, but if that's what you're looking for, just the ability to change it from medieval fantasy to like Western to sci-fi, just like alter the genre without truly changing the core functionality. I think I should be able to do that. Uh, but I only would want to do that if that's what you're actually asking, which is why I'm asking first rather than just doing it and then going, is this what you wanted? Uh, so let me know. Um, another thing that I think you might be asking, but I'm not sure if this is what you're asking, um, that I could potentially do fairly easily. I could give users the ability to change the starting stat values, the universal check values, and the number of sides on the die. So with Project Camelot, um, I set the starting stats to what I wanted them to be, but if you wanted to start it off in the AI, instead of having no coins, has like a whole bunch of coins, or they start and they actually have like much higher or lower health or more or less stamina, or maybe they already start hungry or they already start tired, um, I could set it to where you have the ability to um, change all those variables ahead of time and then be able to run the sentient AI and see how it would go with your like preset variables, uh, like you setting the stats before the game actually runs. I think you might be asking something like that in your question. Um, and right now I'm just more or less asking you like, is that what you were thinking for like a type of thing? Um, also I mentioned changing the universal check values. So um, essentially in Project Camelot, if the AI is able to get a 10 or higher on like a roll, they'll succeed. So that's uh, rolling like essentially like a fake 20 sided die uh, and adding their uh, stat to it. Um, so if you would be interested in me adding a feature where you could change how many sides the die has um, and you could change that check value from being like a 10 to being like easier, like a five, to where it'd be easier for the AI to do task or make it harder, like a 15, just change the number to whatever you want. Um, I could also add that fairly easily to what I've already created, but only if that's what you're looking for. Um, if I added both of those things, it would allow you to change the starting conditions of the sentient AI, change the way that the world is not only described uh, to the user who reads the logs, but to the AI directly, and um, change the way that the AI is able to progress through the world by making it easier or harder for the AI to do so by editing things like stat values and check values and sides of the die. Um, so again, I'm just trying to see if I'm thinking about your question properly and if these are the ideas that you want or not. Like I said, let me know in the comment section below if this is like the type of stuff you were looking for. Uh, but thank you again uh, for asking these questions. I truly appreciate it. Um, I hope that this video was helpful. Um, and I like to thank you all for watching. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button, favorite, comment, subscribe, and ding, 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 ring that notification bell to be notified whenever we do these videos. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jeff Black the one. Logging out. Peace.